Hello everybody and welcome to part 14 on Snow Runner. And I just fueled up this vehicle and now we're going to be driving to a fuel carrier which is stuck in a in a very interesting place. So here it is. I think yeah, it's right here and we somehow have to get it out from this yeah, this very tight little ledge over here and bring it back to this specific location so I guess we're gonna do it um, so of course we're gonna back out and start driving <laughs> like always so whoops okay no not low range gear we're just gonna drive towards there but okay hopefully we can actually get it out of there because the problem is there's not a lot of ways to get back up except for this one over here but uh, yeah it's going to be very difficult but I think the scout can do it I, I can trust it I can definitely trust the the power that it has. So we're just gonna move it to all-wheel drive, and we're also gonna drive a little bit carefully, because uh, we do not want to break it when we're driving towards there. Oh yeah, there's also a bunch of rocks here. Oh, okay, there you go. Just keep going forward, and we will get there at any time. But also, I forgot to tell you guys about this. But uh, this might be our last time that we're ever going to be in Michigan, and I'm not saying that we're never going to come back to this map, or to Michigan basically, uh, but I'm planning to go to Alaska. And like, if we, like, we have done quite a bit of stuff here in Michigan, like about 40% of all the missions, or like all the tasks and contracts and all that. And let me actually see if I can see it somewhere, because I know there is a menu. Yeah, there you go. So 40% of Michigan, and we only have 1% on Alaska. And I still want to explore, like, Russia and Alaska. I mean, ugh, these are just so many, such cool places. But, uh, like, I think we're not quite ready for Russia, but I think for Alaska is... I think we're ready. I mean, we have some really good trucks. We have the Scout 800. We have the Paystar. And if we, if we go to Alaska, we're definitely going to have some very interesting vehicles to discover. Definitely. But uh, there's, still, there's still some vehicles to discover here in uh, Smithville Dam. There's still two of them. One that's stuck in, like, a... Basically... Yeah, just a bit... Uh, most of them, they're stuck. So... Or even we have to repair them, and then we, we will get them. But okay, we're just going to... Come on. We're almost there. Almost at the turn. And here we go. Perfect. Okay, so here are we supposed to turn, I'm guessing. Yes, right about here. So yeah, here I have to concentrate because like this truck doesn't, like this little car over here doesn't weigh a lot, so it also tends to like, likes to flip over a lot with those big massive tires. So also might, might also, might be a good idea to also be careful over here. Because there's also a lot of rocks that want to really flip you over. Okay, there we go. Just made it. Okay, just about. <laughs> just about. Okay, press the gas, hold the brake. And there we go. Now we're here. Almost. We're still not there yet, but we're getting close, sort of. Okay, here I'm supposed to turn somewhere, so I guess I'm just gonna see if I can turn right about here. Yes. Okay. There we go. And just like that, we're just gonna drive over this... Okay, I can see it. It's like right there. So I'm definitely gonna stick, st stick to the sides and not go into this uh, muddy sand. Oh man, it likes to really slide likes to slide around. I'm just gonna tap tap the gas. Just tap it. Or what happens if I go through here? Well, it's not too bad. I mean, I could drive. Okay, yeah, that looks... I mean, that could... Uh, it looks pretty small, the trailer, so... I can definitely do it. Or make it happen, of course. Okay, here it is. So... Wow, yeah, it's... I'm already pretty much sinking. So... We're gonna accept it. Oh, wow! How deep is this? 
Okay, at least I can attach myself to a tree. <laughs> oh man, this is some really, really deep mud. Okay, so put on the handbrake, cause... Oh, okay, we still can't... No, 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 winch. I just want you to move a little bit forward, not too much. Okay, attach winch. And I'll pull, pull, pull this thing. Pull it. It's literally like sinking. It's like almost like quicksand. I mean, it could be quicksand, but it isn't. Just some sand. Okay, a little more, and I think that's going to be enough. I mean, we still have to like somehow back up and attach it to the back of our truck. Okay. It's going to be quite difficult. There's also not a lot of. I can't really turn a much here, so. So I have to look out for that. Okay, here it is. Task trailer. Yes, there you go. That was a nice little shake. And now we can drive. Perfect. So we still want to be careful, guys. This is not. Now, if we have the trailer on us, we still have to be careful about that. Because at any time, we could always, like, slide. And bad things might happen, but. We're good. I mean, we also have a pretty powerful engine in this car. 4.4 liter, so... Definitely a, a very strong engine, for sure. Ooh, okay. That was... That was a little bit... A little bit of shaking. Okay, here we are. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh! What did I just do there? How did I... I don't know what I just did there, but... <laughs> Sometimes there's also always a weird thing that happens. Turn on lights. Because I can't see. Okay, here... Here we go. We can do this. Sure, we can do this. Just keep climbing. Oh, you have the power. I know you have. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Yes. Oh, man. It was definitely worth it to, to do that engine upgrade. Definitely. Because I know, I think there's some fuel also inside of the, the fuel carrier for the scout. Or not for the scout, but yeah. Definitely some fuel inside of it. Oh, crap. Oh, a little bit of struggle. First gear? Nope, doesn't work. Okay, well, uh, I actually need a winch my way to here. Yeah. We're still not even close. But, there you go, we're getting ourselves out. No problem. No problem, my sir. Okay, so we're out. Which is perfect. And now we just have to bring it to the owner. Of this, this, yeah, this trailer, and then we're we're gonna get some money, some XP, or rank up point, rank up points, whatever you call them, guys. And then we're gonna move on, of course, to another task. But I was actually thinking about to uh, to recover that trans star. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me just go a little bit forward. I think it's like right here. Yeah, the international trans star. 478. I'm gonna see if I can drive towards there, maybe. And I know it's a highway truck, so I might might as well not you know, use it, but I might sell it for, for some cash. So, definitely gonna do it for the money. Okay, and I just got my stuck. Just got myself stuck. Just got myself stuck on something. Oh man, yeah, you're pretty, pretty stuck. Sinking into the into the mud. Okay, are we good? No, almost. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, slowly we're moving. Slowly and slowly we're just gonna drag our way through these. 
has off-road tires, so it should work. <laughs> it should. <laughs> okay, so we're not gonna drive into that water. Hell no. Because it's pretty deep. And I don't, I'm not, I think we do have a snorkel, or I think we do not have a snorkel, so. Yeah, we're just gonna pass, pass by. All right. Almost there. Don't do anything stupid. Okay, you know what? Let's just drive right into here. Oh, a little bit of bounce. Yeah, we're almost there. I can, yeah, I can see the road. Kind of. I can almost see the road. Roadie, roadie, road. I still, like, I still haven't found any, like, ray suspension for the scout, and I still want to find it, like... You know what? If we go there, I'm also going to see if I can go and get that upgrade part, which we left behind. Because we passed by with a big truck, and there's no way I could have got there, like, got there, there, so... Now we're going to see if that's hopefully, like, a ray suspension part or something useful, <laughs> I guess. Okay, there we go. We just delivered it right here. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's completed. Now, uh, I want to see... So, yeah, we're definitely going to drive towards there. You know what? Find the antenna tower. I'm also going to complete this one because... Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing. We just ba we basically have to just drive towards there. So, you know what? I'm going to grab the upgrade part. Then, gonna dr then I'm going to drive over this, like, little tight little thing here. Activate the, the task and do this one. And while we're going there, we're going to get the International Trans Star out of there. So, I think that's a plan. And you know what, guys? Just... Just because we're in this situation, I'm going to change the weather into morning. Because I would like to drive on a... Uh, on a s Okay, you know what? I also forgot. I need to fuel up. <laughs> I'm pretty low on fuel also. 43 gallons. I mean, we might just do it, but... You always want to make... You always want to make sure... You're going to have enough fuel for the journey. So we're just going to fuel up over here. Some, some nice fuel. And just to save some, we're going to put it in... Rear, rear wheel drive just to save some save some fuel that's what I was trying to say <laughs> okay here we are whoops here yeah I just god damn I just broke something let's put a dent I actually did a put a I put a dent into it oh did I just pass by it again okay you know what let's drive through here I don't know if it's a good idea, but screw it. We're going off road, baby. Okay, turn all wheel drive. And always, and always be sure that safety comes first. Ooh, okay, that was dangerous. Slowly, slowly. Slowly does it. Okay. Nope. Oh, okay. Yes. There we go. Okay. So now we're here. Kind of. Kind of not. Kind of maybe. Okay. Ooh, okay. That was not nice. Why did you do that? Why did you actually do that? Okay. Just managed to. Just gives. Yeah. I just gave my engine a little bit of damage. That's a lot of damage. That is indeed a lot of damage. Here's the part. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. I don't really care. Okay, you know what? Hmm. I'm, still considering if I, I'm still considering if I should do this. Okay, so down. Oh my god. It's steep. Okay, yes, yes, there we go. Uh, what truck? 
the Chevrolet CK, hmm, it's not really useful. <laughs> it's not really useful. It's only for our uh, truck that we have back in uh, in Black River. But okay, let's see. Can we drive over that or there? Can we make it across this very dangerous river? Come on, come on, why? Okay, be careful. Just want to be sure. <laughs> I'm just going to attach a winch. I just want to be sure if I'm not going to... Okay. okay, I feel safe for now. I feel safe. Maybe not a lot safer, but... Oh no. Holy damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we can maybe you can definitely drive through there, so that's no problem. No problem, my good sir. I can do that. Yeah, it's just some water and a bunch of rocks, so it's fine. There we go. Just passing through. Passing through. And here we go. We just made it. Just like that, we just made it. No problems at all. Except right here. Okay, so we have to drive to to there. Just double checking, guys, where I'm supposed to go. Okay, and just like that. Perfect. So we're just gonna act. Uh, we're just gonna activate the mission. Or the task, and then we're gonna drive to the antenna. And we have some really, really. We have a pretty big problem with mud. <laughs> Can't even barely go through here. Barely, I can't. Keep driving, keep driving, don't stop. Don't stop believing. Okay. Ah, these are some really cute houses. I mean, th these are trailers. I mean, maybe these two ones, but or RVs. But look at these houses. I would surely love to live in those houses, but not really next to like a very big river with like a dirt road. And this was all asphalt, and I can like drive my car normally. Like that's perfect. I would surely live here. But it's just a game. It's just imaginary. Just a game. Maybe there's some places in real life that, like, kind of resemble these small houses next to, like, big rivers. Could be. But okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna start with... Yeah, we're basically driving towards there, so I have just have to, like... <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty long journey, but I'm basically gonna drive towards there, and I will meet you guys when I'm at the tower. Okay, so we're at the tower. That was... Yeah, there you go. Uh, so we just basically have to drive to Okay, that was a little bit too fast. Don't want to, to drive too fast. But, uh, here we go. Nice and quick. And the only thing that we have to do is to get up to it close. Like this. So, right about here. Perfect. Look at that. 1,400 bucks, 80 rank points, whatever like that. Untouchable. Complete 10 tasks or contests without taking any damage. Not bad. Not bad, guys. Look at that. So, uh, we got an achievement for that. Thank you, Xbox, of course. Thank you very much for that. So, now, we're gonna be driving to the car, or the highway truck, which is stuck in the, the mud. So, we're just gonna drive downhill, and hopefully not flip over. Remember, <laughs> we do not want to happen. I don't really want that to happen. Because if it does, we have to recover and drive all the way back and do this all over. So, on fuel, yeah, we're still good on fuel, so not really going to be worrying about that. So, uh, we have to turn right here. Yeah, I mean, this is really rough here, of course. Everywhere here in Smithfield Dam, it's always really rough. I mean, not everywhere. There's some, some, still some very nice spots, like the roads, of course. There's some... Nice little places to drive around on. Okay. 
So how am I gonna do this? This is all... Okay. Great. Uh, I'm already stuck. <laughs> okay. Come on, get me out. Or, no, don't you dare do that. That was not a good idea. Okay, can I, like, still turn on a low range? How deep is this? Oh, damn. Okay. Well, uh, can I attach to here somewhere? This is rough. Still want to, like, kind of turn, turn around. There you go, like this. And I'm going to put it back. There we go. Okay, now we got <laughs> we got ourselves out. Look at that. Like this is already looking pretty bad for us, or not looking good for us, because we just got stuck there in just <laughs> in just a little bit of sand or mud, whatever it was. Okay, so what I could do is I could drive around. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities, guys. There's always plenty of possibilities on how to do this. gonna drive over here. I don't think I got get stuck. Oh okay that looks like water. Is that water? Uh that is. So I'm gonna back up and drive forward. And see if we can go through these little little or big trees. And yes, there you go. We just did that with no problems. Easy peasy. Now, okay, just keep going. Just keep going. Okay, where's the truck? So I think it's like, yeah, it's right in front of us. I can see it. So, good thing is that we still have like trees around us because if we didn't have like any trees around us, then it would have been really bad. Oh, great. Tree. Why'd you do that? Don't block me. Why? Come on. Don't block me. Yeah, come on. Get me out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah. Just keep going. I'm gonna go around. There it is. There's the truck. It's just a standard highway truck. Bare bones. With highway tires and all that good stuff. Oh, 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 okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, come on, get me out. Get me out, please, please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's maybe turn on low range. Okay, slowly drive over this sand. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it in low range because that might be the best idea or the best plan. Okay, I mean we're getting close. It's like right in front of us. Like I really wanted to like go towards that, like a, like just drive really fast, but I can't. Cause that's gonna that's gonna result in more problems. Or could I? You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Drive. Drive. Oh, there's some dangerous water levels. They're not gonna stop me, water. Okay, there it is. Come on. It's like ready to get discovered. Uh, should I actually just pull it out? Or should I just drive to up towards it? No, you know what? I'm gonna winch it out. Or yeah, let's just let's just. Oh, there we go. We already discovered it. Easy. Okay, so perfect. The international trans star. So, train trucks. Um, yeah, it's like <laughs> it is terrible. No engine. Engine. I mean, the engine is broken. The gearbox is screwed. And there's no fuel. So, 
let's go for the easy route and just recover it, of course. So, here it is, the trans star. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna ever, like, drive it or anything. Ooh. We do have a powerful engine on this. Okay, but I'm not gonna place it in. Definitely not. Uh, what sort of add-ons do you have? So, you have a fuel tank. I mean, I could use it as a... F I could use it for f as a fuel tank. A van, a body add-on. Mm. A crane. Uh, do you actually have any tire upgrades? Yes, you do. But you do not have off-road. Uh, oh, even chains tires. That could actually... That could really help us. So, you know what? Um... I'm not gonna put any upgrades. Uh, miscellaneous. What do you have here? Air conditioner. You can even have that on. That's cool. So yeah, we're just gonna drive outside of it. See how it basically drives. How it sounds, of course. That's also this is always important. Not bad. I quite. I, the thing that I really like about this truck is like, look at all the stuff that's just like hanging on the back of it. The engine is like literally sticking out. Look, look at that. There's the engine. Ooh, I like the inside. Look at that old-fashioned radio, all the wood. I might actually keep it. I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to keep it. It's actually very, very nice. Let's see, does it, uh, does it have... Can it do drifts? No, it can't. But it drives really well. So, you know what? We're going to keep it. It might be a keeper, but... If I still... I can always change my... My my mind and always sell it, but I also want to change the paint. So I'm going to do that very quickly, guys. I'm going to change the paint. Oh, by the way, if you cannot tell, I also changed the the add-on for the Transtar because I do not want to keep that fuel tanker on that thing. Like, definitely not. It's just, <laughs> it just likes to flip over and all that. So yeah, we're definitely going to change the paint on this. Uh, what do you have here? Ooh, green looks quite nice. Red or this type of color. We already have a green truck. How about white, black? I mean, these are all crazy looking colors. We also have orange. Well, let's go for uh, the orange. Let's go for like this type of color. Looks good. Like, do you have any like cheap visual upgrades? Maybe beacon. No. Yeah, you know what? I think it, that's the only thing that I'm gonna be doing to it. So we're just gonna leave the garage and. I think it's about about time that we end up this video. So yeah, we're gonna drive to or up to next to the Transtar and uh, Yeah, guys um, in the next video you guys are gonna expect a lot of things to happen like back We're gonna move to Alaska. So I'm definitely gonna take every single truck that's in Michigan So I'm definitely gonna take the International Transtar, the Pace Star, the Scout, the Fleet Star and also we have a truck here in Island Lake, the the Twin Steer. I forgot the name. <laughs> yeah, but there, we also have a truck that we discovered in the last video uh, in Island Lake that we're also going to take with us. Definitely. So, yeah, except for the Chevy, I think I'm just going to keep it in Black River and just kind of let it be <laughs> for the time being. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Like, that would be amazing if you could do that. And also, want to thank you guys so much for the support on the series, like you guys are seriously amazing, and I'm definitely gonna start making more. Of course, I'm gonna make more videos on Snowrider. So, see you guys all later. Goodbye.